Do you feel like every stock that you buy loses you money? If so, there are usually two things that are happening with your decision process and your investments. Let's go ahead and break it down. So as you guys know, and maybe this is your first video, but I was a financial advisor for a number of years. I managed over $140 million. I have seen the best investors in the world. I've seen some who just started from day one and made mistakes. We've all made mistakes. However, if you feel like you keep investing in different companies, maybe you're doing your research in one, a certain way and you keep losing money, what is going on here? Problem number one is you might not be selecting the best companies out there. Now, best is a relatively subjective term. Some people, and I've put out a video about this, will invest in a company like AMC that was very close to bankruptcy. They're doing what is called reverse stock splits. They're doing all this maneuvering to keep the company alive and the company's still down 80 some percent at the time that we're doing this video. That's the thing. If you're investing in a company that's down 80%, why would you think it's going to do any different? Now, that's not to say that it is impossible. I've talked about a company like Carvana that was down 97 percent and magically the company took off and it was up 300 percent. Here's the thing. Do you want to gamble and hope, not have real evidence, but hope that the company that is down by X percent is going to go up in the exact same way? Do you want to bet on that or do you want to ride with a company like an Amazon, an Apple, or Google, or something that has a history of making money for 10 plus years? The choice is yours. The choice is yours. But if you are consistently losing money, that's the first thing I would actually look at. Go and look at your investments and see how much money is made in the last six months and the last 12 months. That's going to give you an idea. It's not going to predict the future, but it is going to give you an idea of what to expect moving forward. That is not, again, not going to tell you 100% of the time what's going to happen. Okay. But it does give you an idea because if I'm looking at something and it's down 50, I don't have a, a real good reason to think that I'm also not going to lose, okay? That just because I invest in it, that things are going to turn around. That is extremely, extremely rare. Now, what is the second thing that most people run into when they are consistently losing money in the market? What I tend to see as well is people who are not investing for enough time. Now, I choose to invest in something and wait six months before I even consider selling it, getting rid of it, or deciding to continue to hold. There are pros and cons to doing that. However, if you're investing for literally five minutes, that stock can be down. We have data that shows that if you're investing for a year or less, there's a 50% chance, 50% chance that you are going to lose money. What does that tell us? Perhaps you should be a long-term investor. And that is because when you're investing for three years or more, you're looking at a greater than 70% chance that that stock is going to be positive. If you're investing for five years or more, you have a greater than 90% chance that the stock is going to be positive. This is why when you see me invest on public and other places inside our members only, you don't see me sell unless the stock is either really bad. And I say, look, I want to get out of this early. I said this about Square. I've said this about PayPal almost two years ago. I said, hey, I don't like the way this is going. I'm going to hop out now. Same thing I said with Disney at that time. Hey, I don't like where this is going. I'm going to go ahead and hop out now. And those stocks have continued to fall. So I cut the losers and keep the winners. You have not seen me sell my Amazon, my Apple, my O'Reilly's, and some of the companies that have done incredibly well for me the last three or four years because they've done well. I don't want to keep those. But when I do sell, I try and get rid of the losers. But why do I wait six months? Why do I wait a year? That's because day to day, anything can happen. There can be a government shutdown. There can be bad weather that causes gas prices to rise, which hurts a certain company. When you're investing for a day or two days or just a few weeks, all types of things can happen where a stock rises and falls just based on stuff that is not in your control that you cannot predict. So the way that I avoid that sometimes is just let it ride. Let things play out. Sometimes there are going to be bumps in the road. Sometimes there are going to be good days and bad days. But usually when you wait enough time, if you invest in a quality company, you are going to be better off over time. So those are the things that you absolutely should pay attention to. There are some things though that I would add to this list to make sure that you avoid. That video is the one that you need to watch next. And that is right here.